you know, but you've got like, you know, Janet doing, I mean, she's down at, at the Grand right now. I mean, Dennis Garnum, I mean, he's like pulling in, probably done more black work since he's been there than, than anybody else. He's the only one who brought in the Barbershop Chronicles, mm. right? This great, great play out of England, mm. and it like goes to the Grand Theater for four, four shows, five shows? I know, I read that script and I'm like, it's, okay, the Grand, wow. Yeah. That's we, amazing, it's a great script. It's a great script. And totally not producible here. It could be produced here. Well, I well then you and I are gonna to have to sit down because I don't know where I'm gonna find fifteen black men mm -hmm. of 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 talent, mm. the talent that's needed for that play mm. in this country. Cause uh, I did a reading of that play with fifteen the talent of black men. You uh, call me. I'll, I'll, I'll right. talk to you. All right. I'm gonna call you because because I just I just look at the actors that 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 I see the calls I get mm -hmm. generally I mean there are plays that I turn around and I go that I love that I just go who the hell's gonna play that part mm -hmm. who's who's you know and and so we we go we go down a generation they it should be a fifty it should be a sixty year old playing the part mm -hmm. and so we go to a forty year old and and mm -hmm. kind of like. But that's acting, Must. though. That happens all the time. I know, but there's a difference matter. when you go down to the states, just in weight, and um, when when you can when you can go down and you can cast a play, and it's actually somebody of that of that age and weight and knowledge and craft, mm. because it's about the craft. You don't. You can have people in their fifties or sixties who have been acting. Mm -hmm. But they've never had the development of craft over the entire course of their career mm -hmm. to make it so that they can turn around and do the King Lear. Mm -hmm. Or to do the massive... August Wilson. Mm -hmm. So hard to produce in this country. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, August has got what? One young black woman, one young black guy, mm -hmm. and then everybody else 50, 60, 70. Mm -hmm. Except for the woman who's supposed to be 102, so yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So those are hard roles. Those are hard roles to cast with people who have the craft and the savvy. Mm. And I sit down. I do a lot of auditions for a lot of different shows, and you can just see it. You can just see that even now, black artists aren't getting the work in the in the number and the and the depth and the complexity for them to grow to their potential. There are, well, let's put it this way. I mean, there are plenty of actors here, and there's some award-winning actors here and yeah. of all different ages. Uh, uh, I mean, Arden Bess was a graduate of the National Theater School, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, um, and, uh, you know, there are actors that I've worked with, and they're there, but they're, you know, there isn't necessarily a deep bench but uh, of actors, of, uh, I'm thinking of actors who are 50s and 60s and stuff like that. But the Kevin Hanchards and the, you know, the yeah, but, but you see, you you just jump. Kevin's a great actor. Mm -hmm. I'd work with Kevin every day of the week. Mm -hmm. Kevin ain't 50 or 60. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be. He's but I hope he's, so. He's fast approaching. <laughs> right. Kevin. But but you know, and same with Nigel. Fine. Mm. He's not. He's not 50s or 60s either. Yeah, right. And there is there's a different there's a different weight to somebody who is like going up or mm. somebody who's there yeah and you can you can see it i mean you know walter borden mm. right walter comes on and you know mm. you you know that the age just walked on the deck mm -hmm. yeah so there's a there's a difference with that mm -hmm. and if you're looking if you're looking to take some of these 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 plays and move them up i mean i'm looking at a play right now and i Somebody brought it up to me, and, and I said, you know what, I, I need to read that again, because I, I wanted that play to be an Obsidian play 10 years ago, and I went, I, I, I couldn't find somebody to play the lead guy. Well, you know, I've been wanting you to do Trouble in Mind for years now. Yeah. I don't know. There's, like, actresses. There are plenty of black actresses who could play that character. I ain't going to say anything. Uh, well, Karen Robinson, <laughs> I'm not suggesting you hire anybody. But I'm just saying. But what makes you think that maybe yeah. they haven't been asked? Oh, uh, well, we have to talk. <laughs> I'm not sure what we can say on camera. That's and what right. We can. That's right. Mm -hmm. But you know, I mean, I, you know. There's, there's, but there's also a truth. There's also another truth, right? Mm. And if we go back to the Shaw, mm. 
I can't. There, the, 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 there are there are a legion of people of mm -hmm. black actors mm -hmm. who have been asked and offered work mm -hmm. down there, particularly over the last three years mm -hmm. under TC, that won't go. Yeah. Huge a number. Mm. Right. So, it's not just it's not just one sided. Why here. won't they go? They won't go for a number of reasons. It's too long, family pressures, they have kids, mm -hmm. uh, they don't like the plays, they don't like think of, they don't want to see themselves being down in, 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 in Whiteville for, for six months. There's mm -hmm. a, mostly though, it's like, oh no, I want to do film and television, I'm going to stay in Toronto. There's, mm -hmm. there's a whack of reasons. Mm -hmm. and, and many of them are perfectly valid. Mm -hmm. But don't think that those those um, outreaches haven't been made, and that people, mm -hmm. people that I would, I've I've, I've looked at people that I said, don't no, hire them. They're going to be great. Not, nope, won't do it. Mm -hmm. I'm getting married. I won't do it. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going on a holiday in the middle of summer. Won't do it. Mm -hmm. So, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. How about that? That happens. No, it's just a. That happens in all in film, theater, you know. Baseball, you know, there are times when the person you want you can't get, but there are. Hmm. What I'm, well, all I'm saying is, is hmm. that the the end result does not always um, fully exemplify the process, mm -hmm. and that there 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 have been any number of people who who have had offers, who, mm -hmm. you know, but, but don't want to do it. I mean, we did Venus's Daughter, and, you know, one of the actors, boom, was immediately offered a season down at Shaw. Mm -hmm. And then left to travel the world for two and a half years. Right. So, and that's fine. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that they need to take it. What I'm saying is don't just, don't just look the one way through a telescope, man, mm -hmm. because there's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes mm -hmm. that then doesn't get reflected on the deck. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, fair enough.